Good morning, everyone. Today's conference is really all about innovation and creativity, unleashing the spirit of our students and our staff and helping them see, as you see, that in fact, the best is yet to come. It's really about looking at the horizon as a board, as a superintendent, uh, as a governing team, seeing what's possible out there, and then seizing the opportunities on the horizon. Because the landscape is always changing, isn't it? Student needs change, demographics change, community expectations change, technology changes, the political landscapes change. And so today, our hope is that you can see what's on the horizon, look for opportunities out there as you hear about trends and innovations, uh, understand the risks and how you'll mitigate them, and know the difference between the two, the opportunity and the risk but stay unwavering on that commitment that the best is yet to come for our young people. What we want you to know is always to remember that IASB and Iowa's area education agencies are here to be with you on that journey. From IASB's standpoint, our focus is unwavering on two things, thanks to your board of directors, and that I call vision for uh, your communities and students, and being that voice for public education. The vision part, well, that's our member services designed to help you accomplish your goals, your goals for your students. So from board development to policy and legal services, um, HR services to help support you with your staff, and school finance services to help you be good stewards of public taxpayer dollars, and then those are provided by our expert staff who are here with you today, as well as our affiliated programs that we look to bring value-added services through our collaboration with the business community. That voice for public education, well, that's so important now, that advocacy. And what I see today is the value of that voice is strength in numbers the strength in numbers of being able to speak on behalf of locally elected school boards, the citizens who govern your public schools, um, to the state legislature, a united voice on behalf of every kind of school district at the state legislature, and then through the National School Boards Association, we seek to um, speak to the Congress um, in our federal advocacy work, and then public advocacy with the media and social media, trying to tell your amazing story. David? Thank you. As I continue this op new opportunity of serving as the executive director for the Iowa's area education agencies, I have and will continue to focus on listening and learning the many ways that Iowa's nine area education agencies work collaboratively to serve the students, families, and schools throughout Iowa's 99 counties. Recently, our collaboration across the nine AEAs has focused on statewide strategic planning to meet the needs of today, including mental health and well-being of our students and helping all students for success in their future. We remain committed to our mission established 45 years ago, which ensures efficiency, effectiveness, and equitable educational services that prepare all children for a life well lived, rural, urban, suburban. Our commitment is to ensure access and quality of services to students, families, and educators from Rock Valley to Red Oak, Wakan to Waukee, Clear Lake to Corydon, Storm Lake to Cedar Rapids, and every town in between. We will continue to listen, hear, and lead, remaining united in our focus to collectively meet the needs of your school district. We will continue to provide a system of professional learning supports, enriched instructional resources, and work in partnership with our Iowa schools to implement authentic learning environments that support every child every day. I appreciate the opportunity of working collaboratively with each of you. Thank you for everything you do. Have a great conference, and I look forward to the many successes in the future within our great state of Iowa. Thank you.